welcome to video number four, transverse parts. In this video, we're going to be assembling the transverse parts, which overall is step number two for the y-axis assembly. Step one is going to be the Y idler assembly. For this step, we're going to place an M4 nut inside of the Y idler, and from the back side, we're going to thread in an M4 by 20 millimeter screw. Once we get that screw tightened, we're going to insert a 608 ball bearing into the groove and we're going to slide an M8 by 30 millimeter screw in there to fix it. We're also going to use two 8 millimeter flat washers and an M8 nut. You may have to force the screw into this part, but be very careful not to damage the Y idler. Do tighten it slightly, but don't over tighten because it can cause the ball bearing to not be able to turn correctly. Next, we're going to slide the Y idler assembly in the middle of a threaded rod, which will be an M10 by 210 millimeter, and between two 10 millimeter washers and two M10 nuts. Uh, for now, do not tighten the nuts, uh, but do thread an M10 nut and washer about 30 millimeters from both ends with the washers on the outside. Do the same with a different threaded rod that is the same length uh, that does not have the Y idler assembly on it.
next we are going to take two of the Y corners and we're going to fix them onto the end of the assembly that we just made on both sides. Uh, that's why it's really important that you have your your flat washers measured 30 millimeters from the end so that we can keep it equal on both sides. Uh, once you get your corners mounted, make sure that the open den on the top is facing the same direction as the ball bearing because this is where the smooth rod is going to slide into at the end. So make sure that you have both your Y corners facing the correct direction. Once you get those mounted onto both of the threaded rods, uh, fix it with another flat washer and another nut. As for now, don't tighten them up because we may have to go fine tune it later. Just get them snug to where it's not going to move around. Now we are going to slide two threaded rods, which are going to be two more M10 by 210 millimeter rods, onto the Y motor mount, and we are going to fix it with four M10 nuts and four 10 millimeter flat washers. Uh, once again, we're not going to tighten the nuts yet, um, but just like we did with the previous assembly, we're going to thread an M10 nut and a washer about 30 millimeters from both ends. And just like we did before, we're going to fix the remaining two Y corners onto the end of this assembly uh, once we get it all put together. Remember to keep the Y corners in the correct orientation for this piece as well. Uh, notice that the top of the Y corners has a closed end and an open end, and we're going to need the open end to face the same direction as where the lower piece of the Y motor is facing. So you'll notice there's a high point and a low point on the Y motor mount, and we want the low piece to be facing the opened end of the groove. <laughs> 